Hello and welcome back to Ian's Fish Room. Today we're going to be doing a product review on the Zis Brine Shrimp Hatchery. Let's get right on into opening it. So here we have all our pieces. First is going to come with this stand. It's a pretty nice stand. You know, nice black plastic. It's going to hold what we're looking to do for it to do. Here we've got our lid. Our rigid airline tubing. Obviously the hatchery itself. And we've got some small pieces here. Let's take a look at what we've got in this bag. So the first thing we have is a little squeeze here. Um, this is great for if you want to you know, use this to get your shrimp out. Uh, it's not the, the best plastic. I don't know how long it will last. Um, but it does come with one if you don't have one. Here's that thermometer that's going to go on the inside. I didn't expect this to come with it, so that's nice. Uh, be able to check your temperature. Looks like it has Celsius and no Fahrenheit. So uh, for some of us, we're going to have to figure out and do some converting. But it does at least tell you in Celsius, you know, what your temperature is. And pull it out, maybe show it a little better. Let's see if my camera will focus on that for you guys there you go so you can see it's got temperature in Celsius it's got our little valve here a little o-ring air stoned for the the bubbles but uh, I will not be using this and then this is our needle valve that's gonna go right on the bottom of the brine shrimp hatchery so we're gonna go ahead and screw that in just like that and that's going to stop anything from coming out the nozzle here once you're ready for it to come out you're just going to unscrew that and it'll start your brine shrimp flowing out of that nozzle there now for the lid you can see up here this is where your airline is going to be coming into your brine shrimp hatchery and then we have our airline tubing we're just going to connect right in here. Now I'm not going to connect it because I'm going to do something a little bit different there with that. Earlier I thought this O-ring was for your airline tube. I was mistaken. It's going to go on your thermometer, which is then going to drop right into your lid like that if you want to use it. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up your brine shrimp hatchery and get it all ready for hatching some shrimp. So the first thing we're going to need to do is add water. And this is going to hold two liters of water. So let me just add some water right here at my sink I'm gonna add you know lukewarm water so I've got about two liters of water there and go ahead and drop it right in to our stand and then I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna need two tablespoons of salt. I'm gonna just use the API aquarium salt. Um, you could use a lot of different types of aquarium salt for this. Uh, you can use some marine salt if, if that's what you have, that's okay too. And just like I said, about two tablespoons. If it's a little more, a little less, it's okay. It's not really gonna make a big difference here. So I add that. And I'm gonna go ahead and add first time using these aquarium co-op eggs so we'll see how well they do and I'm gonna be using one teaspoon of the brine shrimp eggs here I am gonna actually end up using my thermometer because well I'll show you why here in a minute but I'm not gonna be keeping it in a room that's warm enough so I want to be able to make sure I monitor the temperature and I did go ahead and actually change out um, and add a little bit of airline here I'm gonna go ahead and slide this on I've already got my pump set up here and then what I'm doing for a heat source is I have the old fashioned light bulb, desk lamp, and I'm going to put this right up here next to it. That's going to go ahead and make sure I have enough heat to keep them right around, uh, you know, I want, I'm shooting right around 80 degrees. There's our setup. We're going to let it go for 24 hours and we'll come back and check on it. 
So it's been 24 hours since we set up our hatchery and it is time to harvest our brine shrimp. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the top off and stop the airflow and give it a few minutes to settle. And that'll take about five minutes to settle and then we'll go ahead and We'll pull the brine shrimp. So it's been about five minutes and as you can see, the shells have pretty much flowed up to the top here. And for the most part, the brine shrimp have swum to the bottom. I had the light on the bottom. Um, and so now we're going to go ahead and drain those brine shrimp out. And I've got this little piece here. now. This is one of the things I don't love about the stand that it comes with. There's no way for me to get into the valve there. So I'm going to have to slide this carefully. And I'm going to have to hold it up here. Get here to the edge. And I'm going to have to slowly try and get this all over my hands. Hmm. My hands are too big for this. So this is definitely one of the pieces of the design I don't love. I wish they'd done a better job here on their stand. No doubt about that. I don't want to lose any of these shrimp, so I'm going to be real careful here. I'm going to twist this valve, and there we go. We've got it going, and I'm going to have to hold it here for a little bit. Um, I definitely think this is probably the biggest design flaw so far with this. Uh, this is not a great way to have to do it and I'm definitely going to come up with something different than this for a long term. So I wanted to make sure I gave you guys a little bit of view of the problem here. Uh, one, I can't even barely get my hand in here to the valve um, and so I'm not sure I'm supposed to manipulate it. And then there's not going to be anything. I'll lower my camera here for you. Let me just get on my stand. There's no way I can get anything underneath there to actually catch it. So this, so obviously you can't just sit it like this and do anything, um, you know, as far as emptying your brine shrimp hatchery. So that is definitely a negative on this stand. Uh, but what I'm going to end up doing is I'll probably end up building something for this because I do think that this is a great hatchery. Um, I'll probably get rid of this stand altogether and, you know, put it on the side of a fish tank or maybe build something into one of my stands for it. Um, but I do think overall it's did well. I'm going to go ahead and just drain the rest of this by hand. I'm holding it here and get the rest of these brine shrimp. And hopefully I didn't mix it up too much or stir it up so I don't get too many, too many of the leftover shells. So I want to give you guys my final thoughts on this, br this brine shrimp hatchery. I was really pleasantly surprised with the product. I think it really does live up to the hype. It is really solidly made, really good plastic there. That thing is gonna last for years. I'm gonna get years of good use out of it to breed some or hatch some shrimp in my fish room. So overall, great job, Zis, way to go. Couple things I'd like to see them change on this. One, that thermometer, it's, it works, it's good, but I'd love to see you guys at Fahrenheit for those of us who are a little bit, you know, we just don't know Celsius, and so we need to do that conversion. It'd be nice if you just included it in there. I don't think it'd be that hard to do. Uh, another thing is that stand, It's my hands are fat. Uh, they don't fit underneath that stand. I really struggled to get into that valve, so that stand's not going to work for me. So I definitely think there's an improvement that could be made there. Um, but for me, I'm just going to get rid of the stand. I'm going to be doing something else with it all. Like I mentioned, I'll probably end up hanging off one of my fish tanks, um, you know, or one off one of the stands and, and just hang it there. But uh, overall, I thought it was a really good product. I was even surprised that pipe bed that initially I thought I wasn't gonna use, I ended up using it to feed my baby fry, my um, rainbow fry, and it did a great job. I was pretty impressed with it. Now, I don't know how long it'll last. It is cheap plastic. My guess is it will not last real long, um, and I'll have to find something else to use. But for right now, it's working, it worked well. It didn't even really drip a whole lot, which is really nice when you're dealing with brine shrimp. Um, so overall, I think it's a great product. I do recommend if you're looking for a, a way to hatch some shrimp, this is a nice way to go. It is a little bit more expensive, but it's a whole lot nicer than doing the DIY two liter bottle method. Um, so I really, really do recommend that you go with this if you have a little bit of extra money to spend. Um, if you enjoyed this video, do us a favor. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button make sure you turn on those notification hit that notification bell there for us and one more thing make sure you watch another one of our videos thanks a lot for watching guys have a good one